Okay, so here we are on the morning of June 19th, right over here, 9.30. Now, June 19th was one of those days every six weeks where the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee meets and announces if they are going to trade change interest rates. So if you're a beginner or novice, let, let me just give you a, a, an overview of what happens on these days. The market has an expectation of interest rates, whether they're going to go up or down. The stock market likes lower interest rates. And if the interest rates are lower, the market goes up. The stock market doesn't like higher interest rates. And if interest rates go up, the market goes down. At, at any rate, there's a, an announcement at 2 o'clock every, uh, every time this, uh, this announcement is made. And it's six weeks apart. And on the day that the announcement is made, trading is basically lackluster. Lackluster. Nobody knows which way these rates are going to be set. The market opened up at 9.30, right over here, with not much action, a little bit up, a little bit down. The indicators were, were not strong. Over here, you could have gotten on over here where prices lower, it came to a, a, a level of 29, 20 and a half, where you could have jumped on here and picked up four points, actually three points, because you should have gotten off with this doji, especially after the spinning top. So you could have picked up three points here, but again, the action is lackluster. There's no, there's no momentum here. As the day goes on, oh, over here, there's a, at, uh, at around 10 o'clock, at around 10 o'clock, there's almost a uh, bearish harami. And if you recognize that, you could have jumped on and picked up another three points. But with the consolidation here, probably should have jumped off. So these are two weak signals. This one corresponds with the low of the stochastics. This one corresponds with the high of the stochastics. So they're, they're, the signals were there. So you could have picked up six points, and uh, that would have been fine, considering it's, it's not really a, a day of trading right over here. I mean, basically market going up and down. And all eyes were on the 2 o'clock time. So look what happens here at 2 o'clock. The market opens up at 29, around 29.23. Goes down to 29.15, up to 29.31, a 16-point swing, settles at 29.25, and in the next three minutes, shoots up from 29.25 to 29.34. So, if you were inclined to believe interest rates were going to go down, which did not happen, by the way, and you got on at 29.24 or thereabouts, or over here at 29.18 or 16 when the market reversed and wrote it up for 15, 16 points, you would have done great. But look, there's a lot of indecision. There's a lot of differing mindsets at the time of FOMC announcements. And that's why you see all this whipsaw action. If you are a beginner or a novice, my advice is, on the days of the FOMC meetings, don't trade at the time that the FOMC announces. Don't trade. Because, sure, you could, have, you, you could get on the trolley and, and ride it up, but you could just as easily guess wrong and take a big hit. Remember, these are big momentum swings. So if you, if, if you were lucky enough to get on, you made a nice profit for the day. If not, you took a, a big loss. And there was probably a, a degree of slippage in here that's not normal in a market. Prices basically consolidated around 29, 20, 29, 28 to 29, uh, 30, and then moved up for the rest of the day. These signals really are not to be trusted. You can't trust a signal with all this action on the day of the FOMC announcement. There are guys that bought 
down here. There are guys that are that sold down here. The guys that sold down here, you know what? They took a big hit, and they're trying to make to make up for for that loss. And so they might hop on and off uh, right over here in, in these areas. Think in terms of the of the of the individuals and the computers who sold over here, expecting prices to go down with the interest rates not being changed, expecting prices to go down. And they took a big hit for the day and they were spending the rest of the day trying to recoup their losses. And that's what you see going on over here. My advice is FOMC days, and they're announced on the economic calendar. You learn to read these moves. You get in and out in a minute, two minutes, three minutes, tops, tops. And you make yourself a nice chunk of change. But of course, you could also lose a nice chunk of change. So always observe the days that these announcements are going to be held and get some experience. Watch what happens during these days and you'll be able to pick up some nice money if you know when to get on and when to get off. Keep your finger on that trigger and uh, use the force and you'll be fine. Anyway, this is Cousin Marv Eisen. That's the market commentary for the trading day, June 19th. Hey, if you are looking for a way to make money, take action. Take my course. It's not expensive. I make it available for people who are fearful of run, running out of money like I was years ago. Believe me, I, I know the feeling. I know the fear. And uh, you'll be fine. Learn how to trade. It's a great way to make money. You can do it. You can learn how, just like you learn to write. Anyway, Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.